So Chantal had uploaded a now deleted video where she was entirely smug about the situation saying she wasn't bothered. You can keep talking about my husband, blah, 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 blah. Well, girl, we could tell that you were bothered. That was a facade and it's already deleted. So, hmm, interesting. I wonder why you deleted it. So, queen of what the F says, wow, that was exhausting to watch. Just wear a sign that says, I will be your doormat as long as you fake love me. Mm hmm. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Michael B. Petty, who is the absolute best, says It's funny how Foodie Beauty thinks that because Sala didn't talk to her the way he talked to Kybella, that means he cares and respects her. It's probably the opposite. She was just fulfilling his fantasies. He probably felt a deeper connection to her in those two weeks than you had your whole marriage. And yeah, I agree with that. Foodie Beauty also posted some community posts that were rageous. Um, Mostly deflecting about FFG and Chinians, which I guess she refers to FFG's fans as. Fans, friends, subscribers, like, come on, that is so rude, so stupid. But okay, girl. Um, I blah, blah, blah. There's nothing really good in this rant. It's just her talking crap about FFG, so we're just going to ignore that. Miss Robinson said, Looks like the reconciliation is going really well. I expect more community post rages. <laughs> yeah, we expect a lot, definitely. Foodie Beauty is so totally relaxed and over the Kybella situation that she choked on her own BS. Watch her. You can see her starting to lose faith in what she's saying. All the same defenses she made with Nader. He was saying what she wanted. He was still talking to me. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she'll just keep making any excuse in the book. Mm -hmm. No matter what, her man is always right and we're always wrong. Somehow thousands of people are wrong, but one person... I mean, make it make sense. Like, the level of delusion, um, again, like, I don't even know if a psychologist could figure her out or a therapist. I think they would be bewildered. The delusion is seriously real, guys. Who taught Foodie Beauty the word deflection? I hate you. Who did it? <laughs> yeah, we, we know when she starts using words or phrases that don't sound like her, either she got them from someone else or she probably got them from her reaction channel because the reaction channels are actually the intelligent people in this situation. <laughs> Foodie Beauty has been upping the filter game lately, but girl, we all know what you really look like, so can you just knock it off? <laughs> or don't. It does give us something to laugh at, but girl, who are you trying to fool? Come on now. <laughs> this person says, what are you talking about? Chantal has an impeccable track record with moving on. She's never once raged about anyone for months or years on end. Not FFG, DD, NADS, ALR. Roman, BBJ, Allah and his wife, or Shannon. Nope, our unbothered Duchess of Gatineau lets things roll off her like gravy off a Kia poutine. <laughs> Listening to the Twitter space like, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. So Foodie Beauty, stop trying to deflect by talking about reaction channels, by calling other people stalkers when we know that you stalked Nader literally for a year after he wanted nothing to do with you. You wouldn't stop like driving by his house, calling him, texting him, making up all sorts of excuses to try to see him. This is why we know like once you are hooked on someone, like there is no getting rid of you. You are just like a cockroach. You'll just keep clinging on and you'll keep clinging on to Salah for as long as he'll let you. Um, tell Salah that we like him off the internet. He can stay that way. And um, thanks for giving us the entertainment. This is the best stuff Girl World has had in years. She came on last night with her salad, acting like she cares about her health. Let's not sit here and pretend that you care about your diabetes now. We all know that that was a sham. We all know that you lying about weight loss surgery was just for YouTube views. And you and ALR are two peas in a pod. We know your cycles. We know the lies you tell. And it's like every single Christmas, you guys have the same arc. So you need to start coming up with new material. Otherwise, it's going to get really old. But girl, this is entertaining. So we're not going to quit talking about Salah or what he's done and your fake marriage and your sham of a relationship. You look like you've been crying all night. Maybe you need to go wash your face and probably hop on a plane back to Canada. If you did, a few Beezers might actually tell you they're proud of you. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.